Van der Waals, VDW for short, Van der Waals interactions. And these uh, arise because of transient dipole moments that, uh, ar that are created on a, in a time-dependent manner. So if we consider methane, a carbon with four hydrogens, uh, everybody recognizes this as a completely apolar entity. But at any instant in time, there may be a, a partial negative, uh, excess of negative charge at this end of the molecule and a partial positive charge at this end of the molecule. So at this instant in time, now we have a dipole moment that, that is pointed in this direction. And then sometime later in the time history of the molecule, the, the same carbon and four hydrogens are, are now dispossessed in a way that more electron charges over on this end of the molecule and there's a partial positive charge over here. A dipole moment is pointed in this direction. So the, I'm assuming the molecule is not rotating. Of course, the molecule could be rotating, but in this case, we're, we're just focusing on the, 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 the orientation of, of this so-called transient dipole moment, and that it's moving from one end of the molecule, the, po the partial positive charge is at one end, and later on it's at the other end. And then on average, what happens is that all of these transient dipole moments average out, so we get a, a net, net zero dipole moment. But at any instant in time, there is some degree of asymmetry and a partial positive, partial negative charge for, for a, a, any instant in time. And then when this molecule is interacting with some neighboring molecule, we'll just take some uh, general uh, meth methylene group here, also considered to be apolar, so no net dipole moment. But these transient dipole moments in our methane molecule will induce similarly, on average, the orientations of these dipole moments are going to align up with each other. So the partial positive charge at this end will form induce or attract more negative charge on the methylene group and that will be a favorable based on our understanding of electrostatics. Now this is not electrostatics because these are not fixed. They're dynamic and moving around all of the time. But for each of these transient dipole moments in the methane molecule, we're inducing favorably oriented tr transient dipole moments in our neighboring molecules and what that means is that at any given an instant in time, you're more likely to have a favorable orientation in the transient dipole moment of your neighbors. And the consequence of this, the nature of this, this type of weak interaction is that it's always attractive. Always attractive. And because these molecules are fairly isotropic or there's no net dipole moment, uh, the, there's no, no orientation dependence, no orientation dependence. And that distinguishes the van der Waals contact, van der Waals interactions from, for instance, hydrogen bonds, which are orientation dependent. And the distances that we're talking about here, uh, generally van der Waals contact is uh, in the range of the 3.5 to the 4.2 angstrom range. So not as close as hydrogen bonds uh, and not as far as electrostatic interactions. Now, this is probably one of the weakest of all the weak interactions that we're talking about, but because they're always attractive and any molecules that come within this range of each other, uh, well, if, if there's a large number of atoms that are in contact with each other, for instance, such as the interior of a DNA double helix, then you can accumulate many of these weak interactions and then together they form a fairly substantial, strong, strong type of interaction.